when when was this game put on itch.io or does this, does this even say 2004 <laughs> <laughs> 2016 on itch.io and i think it was probably even before that uh on whatever steam or some other platform because i remember hearing about this game a long time ago from a youtube channel that would um review like every steam game ever released <laughs> this is before they placed the million games every day is this no this isn't a shooting game i i think the page said it was something like zelda yeah i think it's more of an rpg but i don't know too much about it <laughs> nice i'm naked with a cowboy hat Ooh, that's a good look <laughs> and this game's got some groovy tunes yeah they are groovy and don't make me think of Texas nor England. <laughs> Name of the game is still a mystery. Video games where you type actions always make me anxious because there's literally millions of things you could type in and they could all be wrong for all you know. At least it does give you some words to pick from. Not all of them, but at least something to get you going. Yeah, yeah, I do appreciate that. Oh wow, the first door I just clicked to open. Amazing. <laughs> I've still yet to see the influence of Zelda here. It has more in common with old-ass point-and-click games and Mac Ventures, like Infested, than it does with Legend of Zelda. Which isn't bad, but it did lead me to think there'd be some sort of overhead combat. I don't know, am I speaking too soon? Am I gonna pick up a sword and shield immediately after this part? Maybe. Maybe. I tried typing in steel for this painting over here because I wanted to be like the art thief, but it didn't work. It's unfortunate. You can steal plants and shit. <laughs> Just stealing a bunch of plants. What the fuck? <laughs> There's a little, uh, like, closet with some new clothes that I put on <laughs> next to the staircase. I did the same. Well, just make yourself at home. Hey, it's the real Texas. What do you want? <laughs> Shouldn't there be somebody at this castle besides you? <laughs> just going through their collection, stealing notes, leaving plants everywhere. Oh, and I still have zero dollars. Pretty lit. Well, I'm sure we'll find some money. Well, if we do in this house, then it's not ours to take. We've taken plenty of other stuff. <laughs> They're damn clothes. <laughs> yeah, this might be a pretty extensive game. It is a premium game. It might be one of those that we just don't really even scratch the surface of. Oh, where are my premium games that are five minutes long? <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. Oh, shit, something's attacking me. Uh-oh. Well, I don't know if I'm taking damage or anything, I'm just walking past them. <laughs> well, now I have two purple dudes trying to shoot me. And I can't leave, so this isn't good. And I died. Hmm, firearm use recommended. Sounds like a good idea. I typed gun, she nods knowingly. What the fuck? <laughs> I do name and she just says her name. <laughs> it's not like I'm Matilda or whatever her name was. And then a little description about herself. It's just literally her name. Uh, a piece? Where? What? What the fuck? Fine, I fucking Lee. All right, now I'm the real Texas. Hell yeah. That's right, yeah. It's all coming together. <laughs> Just standing on top of her bed right next to her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, time to kick ass. Hell yeah, I got my gun. Nice. Yeah. I'm so glad there's no ammo count. Yeah, I was worried about that too. Oh wow, money. Picking up money from slimes. There you go. Yeah, now now the Zelda's all coming together here. 
<laughs> Zelda with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has such normal names, they don't really stand out, and I'm getting them confused. Well, Zartan does uh, stand out, I guess. <laughs> mm-hmm. Alright. Texas. Going. Oh, oh, shit. There's a snake in my boot. Damn. Oh, oh my god, the fucking another snake in my boot. Damn. I wonder if people get upset if you steal stuff out of their house. <laughs> Probably not. If this is like Zelda, probably not. Who are you robbing? Uh, there's a mechanic um, to the west of Kerry. I don't know. I don't want to rob him. I feel bad. Mm -hmm. Well, I hate how I have to pull stuff out of the container just to look at it. So many seemingly innocuous things you can take. Like dishware <laughs> and lipstick and stuff. Reminds me of like Fallout. Or Skyrim or something. <laughs> I've got a towel, I've got a box of frozen chicken, I've got <laughs> plants. <laughs> well here and in in a puzzle adventure game, you can't underestimate any item because they all could be useful in some way. Oh wait, hold hold resist. What? What? Okay. <laughs> God damn it, the recoil of the gun sent me back into a loading <laughs> zone. Hmm, it doesn't, but that'd be so interesting if this game was speed ran and the fastest way to get around was by shooting and using the recoil to traverse areas. Instead of actually walking. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be kind of cool. It's always neat when very unorthodox strategies and movements and controls are used in speed runs. It really catches casual players off guard, myself included, when I see a speed run of a game that I thought I was familiar with, but then people are doing some crazy shit I've never even thought of trying. Also, I found a lullaby. I guess I'm gonna go back and play it for that ghost that needs to sleep. Why would a ghost need to sleep? Whenever I see job as one of the selectable things, I always think it's me asking the person for a job because that's just what you do in an RPG. But no, you're asking them what their job is. I was my bayo. My bayo fayo in the wayo. Oh, Bell fell in the well. That's what she's trying to say, I think. Mm-hmm. So far, this is seeming like a bunch of random stuff. Random people, random enemies, random this and that. Kind of makes me think... ...of Earthbound a little bit, just because that was full of a bunch of random people and enemies and stuff like that. What do you mean by random, though? Just kind of like a different assortment of people. Like, why is there a mechanic inside this seemingly fantastical world with witches and wizards? Which is located inside an English castle. And you're fighting slimes, but then you're fighting snakes. Ooh, more clothes. Nice. How do you feel about that? I was curious. Like, when a bunch of seemingly... Maybe not at odds, but things that don't really click or seem like they'd appear together just are put all in the same setting. Um, I guess it doesn't really bother me. It could come off a certain way for sure. Hmm, like it could seemingly come off as lazy without any thought put into it. Yeah, yeah, it could just be, uh, like they didn't, they didn't try. This doesn't seem that way to me. This, um, it's very creative. I guess the fact that I liked Earthbound and you love it too means that there's more to it than just the randomness of the elements. Like, the whole is greater than some of its parts. But I don't think you can say that about many games that employ the ran random technique. The random hajil. <laughs> and it's not like there's anything damning about that. I think it's just people 
expressing themselves creatively, and that kind of just happens, I think, haphazardly and in a random fashion. So I think if, if anything, it's more creative than games that have elements that are, have more rhyme and reason to them. Like the rhyme and reason ones are, are more planned and thought out and uh, kind of sterile because of that. Now I'm picking up a uh, bunch of kitchenware. Hoggers. <laughs> I love filling up my inventory just to dump it all somewhere else later. <laughs> I really hope this shit isn't required for something. Yeah, it's like, I could see like people looking at a game like this or Earthbound or something where they say, well, why, does this, why does this game have the parking meters or whatever that you, that you fight and why do you go to this weird dimension where it's like a fucked up backwards version of <laughs> the city? Because they're used to like uh, conventional stories or games or whatever. It could have that like effect on somebody, like where it's like, "What the fuck is this?" Really, I mean, you could you could say, "Well, why does it need to have that stuff?" You know, does that mean it's, it's good if it has all that conventional stuff? Mm. I don't know. I guess it's just down to what the player wants themselves. I think structure would also be another appropriate word. Earthbound has very poor structure, I would say. In terms of plot and, and the flow of the plot, the logistics of it all. Even so, it's still a great game and a fun experience. Oh god, I love going to a dead end and walking back. Earthbounds is kind of an interesting case, but because it's kind of that eccentricity it had that probably alienated a lot of people back in the day when random creativity was less, uh, less seen and less accepted. Nowadays, it's almost the norm. Like, if your game doesn't have, oh shit, a full-fledged cast of cookie characters, and wow, I'm dying. Oh my god, I'm dying. I died. Die. No. Oh no, I didn't die. What? Oh, I died. No, I didn't. Wow. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Holy shit, I used the gun's recoil to get myself away from the enemies. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Damn. Speaking of clothing, I did find this suit vest thing that makes me have the body shape of a woman. But it came with one that, that's the same for men, so it's like it gave you the choice to uh, <laughs> pick which one you want. <laughs> oh, what was that? That chick's name you saved? Oh, there she is. <laughs> That's funny, I typed in sex and fuck, and, it, and she says, Ah, uh, no way, cowboy. Oh, but it also said the same thing for eat, and shoot, and suck. Okay, so that's just her default thing of verbs that make no sense. Never mind, I thought this game was creative. Uh -huh, I was wrong. Yes, no. <laughs> I feel like this game maybe gives you a little too much free space to explore right at the beginning. It's a little overwhelming trying to... Oh shit. Oh shit. Why? Oh my gun's not equipped. Wow, that's cool, bro. It's... Oh my god, we fuck off. Damn, bro. Bro. Oh my god, take it, take it. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Wow, this is a great tree placement. Holy shit. I do like the creative way you escape from slime's grasps. Um, but holy shit, are they so fucking aggressive and they do not stay dead for long. Wow, I cannot get what the fuck's in this chest. Wow, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, I got it. Holy shit. Damn. What the shithole? That was fucking awful. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, that was a load of fun. I'm glad I was proven wrong about the Legend of Zelda thing, because that shooting's really fun. Even if it is a little aggravating with some of those slimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, that was neat. I'm glad I finally checked it out. I was curious about it for many years. But uh, it was pretty cool. Maybe I'll uh, play some more of it sometime. I don't know. God damn, it's like all these premium games. We never finished. Well, we finished I'm Scared, and that's it. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. There's a ton that uh, we just barely played any of, it seems like. Mm -hmm. Not that we need to, but I do like to see where the game goes, how it ends in a reasonable amount of time, maybe even put it on Indie Hunters, but uh, nope, not going to happen, bro, bro, bro. Oh my shit.